And I wanted to, with my, uh, with my ability, I wanted to help others shine their light on their heroes. And so I set out around the world to interview people about who inspired them to think bigger and dream larger. But right before the book went to the publisher, I decided to interview people who knew my father. And I discovered stories that I didn't even know. And so although I set out to help people build a bridge between themselves and their heroes, I ended up building a bridge between my father, who had been gone for two years at that point, and myself. And so when I was diagnosed with cancer and then had to have surgery and recovery, I kept writing. I never stopped writing because journaling was my way of dealing with all of the emotions that were going on inside of me, in my heart and my soul and my head. And I kept writing. I, I, you know, two years later, I had this word document with 250, 300,000 words. And I realized when I was re reading it one day quickly, there was a cadence to it. There was a pattern to it. And that pattern, that cadence, is exactly what all of us on this earth do. At some point, we are going to be thrown in to the fire. We're